everybody, it's Preacher! So I had to look at the Enhancement Shaman, that one that I hated through Mr. Pandaria. I said all sorts of nasty, bad things about it, the Enhancement Shaman's got on my case. Like, fuck you, Preach, we know what we like, we like our, we likes our Enhancement the way it is, so shut up. That's okay, so what happened to it in Walls of Draenor? Some good, some bad. Some good, some bad. One, the big thing, and a lot of people are flocking to the Enhancement Shaman, and I mean flocking to it, they're abandoning their classes left and right, is the Enhancement Shaman was not hit with the melee slowdown. It was not hit at all. It is still fast, and it's furious, and it's pacey, and it's going for it, and you're hitting keys, and you've always got stuff to do. And in those situations... People are liking that, as other classes have been drawn way the back. They've been stabbed in the ankles, they've had their Achilles severed, and they're now way, way slower than what most people are used to. So there's a lot of flavour there for the enhancement guys who miss the pace. If one of the things you really enjoyed about your other spec in melee was pace, kind of gone for the other classes, and now it's all in the enhancement. The enhancement is still very, very quick. That's not to say it doesn't have these brief periods of downtime where you're like, this is really weird. And it still seems to me to suffer from the clunkiness that it did do in Mists of Pandaria. Initially, I really enjoyed the Enhancement Shaman in Walls of Draenor, but the more I've played it, I've played uh, a lot of it. I really have played a lot because I wanted a nice fair view. Is that, yeah, it still suffers. It still has this real clunky edge to it that I really don't like. And although they've brought in some quality of life improvements in terms of the kind of very rigid rotation that we had in Mists of Pandaria where you had to a certain amount of shocks at a certain amount of time in order to make your Unleash and your Flame Shot work together nicely. All that kind of stuff, they kind of eased back on that. But what they then introduced is kind of similar to the Restoration Shaman, is really conflicting talents that just don't seem to make any goddamn sense. In that vein, I was consistently top of the DPS. There are way more people in the beta now than there were earlier when I was doing my tests, which means we're coming across a lot more general pugs who tend not to be pushing themselves to the max in dungeons. So what I've actually done is shown you the damage breakdown of each encounter I'm doing, because I think you'll find that far more interesting, is where is our damage coming from? Because Enhancement has so many spells. My God, 9 or 10, if not more, regularly pressed spells to do damage with but you're going to see a very stark shift into where our actual damage is coming from instead of saying we'll even our damage across the board what blizzard's done in walls of draenor is heavily shift things towards lightning bolt i mean whoa it hits so much harder than it does in Mr. Pandaria, which means that our priorities have shifted again with that and certain other things have disappeared what's gone that's the important thing static shot shock is gone yeah, if you don't know what that is, that's the ability for our lightning uh, shield to proc. Lightning shield in PvE is cosmetic. I'm sorry to say, lightning shield is essentially cosmetic. It will proc if you get hit, but we kind of know how that goes in raids, right? <laughs> if you get hit in a raid, yeah. Mm. So it's a little bit sad to see lightning shield become a cosmetic feature. It's like, well, we want you to re re remain in this kind of elemental force, and therefore you should have some lightning and shit flowing around you. You can keep that. But it's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to be doing any damage. It doesn't interact with anything. It's not forming any sort of goody two-shoes work for you. It's not going to be something that you need on. If you forget your lightning shield, ain't that bad, actually. Because not much is going to happen because of it. So some of you are going to be a little bit sad about that. I was. I was. It was nice to have my lightning shield up for a reason. Rather than just the spinning testicle glow. But there you go. Also, they changed the way uh, Windshock works. So it no longer does da nature damage. In fact, Ascendance itself doesn't really do anything in terms of damage. It kind of gives you the ability to DPS uh, on the move and at range, that kind of thing, with your Storm Strike. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything happen in terms of DPS when I pop Ascendance. Not compared to my other things, like my cooldown totems and my Feral Spirits and all that kind of stuff. When I pop Ascendance, not a lot actually happens whatsoever. I get the, my Storm, uh, Storm Strike changes to become Windshock, but um, it doesn't actually do anything. It just has a 30 yard rage. It bypasses armor and is no longer actually an elemental damage. So it doesn't benefit from mastery. These are the things a lot of people don't know about. When things are benefiting from mastery, you get in damage increases when things change to nature damage from physical damage right they change but that's not happening anymore i'm sorry to say it doesn't happen so all your mastery no longer affects ascendance ascendance itself doesn't seem to do I, nothing really damage wise it does barely anything at all which is really sad there's been this big shift towards haste lowering the global cooldown allowing you to fit in more spells and all that kind of stuff which is part of the frustration is sometimes with the enhancement you have too much things to press, too many things, and you're like, oh, I'm overloaded with stuff. And then you bump into these periods of about two or three seconds where you just don't have anything. And you just kind of sat around doing stuff. 
What else has changed? Well, Earth Shock's gone and replaced with Frost Shock. Frost Shock is like our go-to DPS spell. And in Wall of Abyss uh, of Pandaria, I would say things like, well, you want to keep your Flame Shock up, and then you want to fill in with Frost Shocks in the meantime. That has changed entirely now. Frost Shock is so fucking useless, and you'll barely ever see it on the damage breakdown I'm showing you, which is like the top six damage spells that I'm doing. Frost Shock is something you use when you quite literally have no Maelstrom procs, and everything else is on cooldown. Then you can Frost Shock. It's that bad. It's really bad. It hits for like a max of about 5k at level 100 or something like that. It's fucking garbage, guys. Really bad. And therefore, it's eased up on the rotation slightly, which was feeling a little bit global cooldown locked. I still think it feels that way. Because sometimes we just have Lava Lash and we have our fucking Storm Strike and you've got Maelstrom procs and you've got all this stuff and you're, you need to refresh your Flame Shock. All this can kind of happen at once on occasion. Not all the time, but it does happen. And then you run into these downtime periods where you're like, ugh, sucks. I just mentioned these Maelstrom procs. Lightning Bolt is now so powerful that literally, you if you have one or two, well, I think two or three Maelstrom weapon procs and it now has this wonderful new graphic showing your Maelstrom weapon uh, actually stacking up, that you're going to be wanting to Lightning Bolt. You're going to want to stand still and you want to hard cast your lightning bolt. Previously, it was like if you had four, then it was worth doing. If everything else was on cooldown and you had four, you could slip in a lightning bolt. Blizzard has said, or Celestial has said, that they want people who manage a lightning bolt better to be the better enhancement shaman. I actually don't see that as being a skillful aspect of the class whatsoever. I really don't get it. Some people believe that, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm being really skillful now because I'm casting lightning bolt earlier than when it's at five or four. <laughs> I leave it to you whether you think that is a skill cap or not. The simple fact of the matter is uh, that this class now revolves heavily around Maelstrom wastage. That is it, because Lightning Bolt does so much damage, wasting Maelstrom procs is a big fucking bummer, which means you want to get as many Lightning Bolts out as possible, which means using them at two or three, because it hits so freaking hard, and you'll get rid of all those procs, and then suddenly you'll be back to five again, which means you're throwing in many more Lightning Bolts, and they hit so hard that many more Lightning Bolts transverse to many more DPS, that is the general idea. I personally prefer less Maelstrom procs where Lightning Bolt should hit 5 and then it goes for it. That's just me though. That's just me. That's my preference and that is how the class currently works. Let's talk about the talents and this confliction, uh, the conflicting ideas that I was talking about earlier. There are some talents here that just flat out don't make, make no sense. Like <laughs> Restoration is in a similar boat. Again, they're trying to squeeze like these talent trees to make sense for Restoration, for Elemental, and for Enhancement. It's not really working, okay? It's not really working. If you look at things like Echo of the Elements, it's not procking correctly. It doesn't really work out. Fire Nova resetting its cooldown. It's a little bit bugged right now, so I'm going to reserve judgment on that. But the fact that Elemental Mastery gives our most powerful stat by a long way, which is haste, we also get this new thing from Blizzard where they are giving you an extra 5% haste from all sources. Elemental Mastery is just so freaking good right now that Echo of the Elements really has to do something pretty special. Lava Lash and Storm Strike are really piddly ass spells, I'm sorry to say. Everything's about Lightning Bolt. You have Lightning Bolt, that does most of your damage, right? Comparatively to the 5k I was talking about with Frost Shock, Lightning Bolt is hitting for like 39, 45k. Okay, there's a huge difference there in how these spells work out. Lava Lash similarly is bringing about double Frost Shock, uh, Frost Shock damage, and similarly with Storm Strike as well. So you can clearly see that every other spell you have in your arsenal is kind of piddly, and it's kind of a utility spell, such as a Storm Strike debuff for nature spells, again, affecting Lightning Bolt. And then, of course, Lava Lash to spread your Flame Shock around for your big AoE. So, Elemental Mastery just seems to work out so much better. So much better, in my opinion. If we move down to the next one, Elemental Blast. It's yet another spell to add to your arsenal, okay, if you're going to take it. And one, it's less damage than Lightning Bolt. And I've just said many times, Lightning Bolt is a big feature of the spec now, like more than ever. Why does this not just replace Lightning Bolt is what I'd like to see. Or has some sort of interaction with Lightning Bolt. So it's not an extra spell because Shamans are already suffering from spell bloat still after the supposed ability pruning. You can clearly see from my bars that lacking spells is not an issue for the Shaman. Adding more in, kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass. I would like to see Elemental Blast change similar to how Resto was so it interacts with spells we already have. Prime Elementalist is still pretty cool for your Super Burst, you guys will know that, but Unleashed Fury is just pulling ahead for the reasons I said otherwise. Elemental Blast feels worthless unless they do something with it so it's better than Lightning Bolt. As simple as that, it needs to be better than Lightning Bolt, including the buff. And at the moment, it's just way, way off par because Lightning Bolt can be cast so many times and does so much more damage that Elemental Blast isn't really paying off. Considering we now have far less spells that interact with Mastery, Haste and Mastery... 
not that great. Agility and crit is way down the list in terms of their priority. But so it's a it's this tricky one. Unleash Fury just seems to be so much better unless you're going for specific burst, in which case you'll take Primal Elementalist. In which case, Enhancement Shaman know about that already. So what about our big level 100s? Our big level 100s. These are conflicting as well. My God, Blizz. What the hell are you doing with the Shaman's one? Storm Elemental Totem just does not enough by a fucking country mile. It sucks. It's so, so bad. It really is. Storm Elemental Totem just fucking sucks. Every time I've used it, I want this thing to work. But we already have two DPS cooldown totems, which means we're just cycling through them anyway with our Fire Ellie and our fucking Earth Ellie and then adding another one in, which does piddly damage. It's worthless. It feels so fucking bad. Elemental Fusion. Your Lava Burst and Lava Lash increase the damage of your next shock. Now, as of recording this, this doesn't work with Frost Shock. You might think, oh, well, this is going back to, like, if we take this one, then maybe we're returning to, like, a Mr. Pandaria style where Frost Shock and keeping that interaction and that flow of the spec is actually maintained. No. It only seems to work with Flame Shock at the moment, but that seems to be a bug, and maybe it'll work out better. But it also means that just your Flame Shock does more damage, because it's always got this 100% buff to its damage. And still, not enough compared to the Almighty, the God amongst gods, the Liquid Magma. Yes, Liquid Magma is fucking OP as balls. Really crazy damage. It looks like it should be the AoE talent, right? It empowers your flame fire totems to cause liquid magma to erupt, heading to random enemies within 40 yards every half a second for 10 seconds. Globs of liquid dealing mad damage. This sounds like the big AoE spell. It's not. It's the single target spell and the AoE one all rolled into one giant clusterfuck of awesome. It really does do so much damage. It looks cool. It turns your flame totem into a turret. And what I've seen on occasion, and I need to check the VODs just to back this up, is when I've popped Liquid Magma, it does so much damage that ads are actually killing it. <laughs> They're like, whoa, what is that thing? Kill, kill, kill. And I've noticed my fire totems just disappearing randomly. And I'm like, oh, I just popped uh, lava mag uh, liquid magma. I wonder if that's something to do with it. But I'd need to double check if the ads are turning and killing my liquid magma totem because it's kicking so much ass. But it is. Uh, it does add another level of... Um of complexity because you need to use things like totemic projection in order to make sure your totems are within range, right? Because I have seen it, it's, it's within four yards. It says 40, but I have seen my liquid magma totem not do anything. Not do anything at all. All right? It's not do anything at all. It's... It's really got to be close. You have to move your fire totem. I've, that's the way I've seen it. It could be bugged out. If we read it, it says, Causing liquid magma to erupt from it towards random enemies within 40 yards. Each globe of liquid magma deals fire damage to all enemies within 4 yards. I'm not sure what the interaction is there, but I've noticed that I've had to move my fire totem essentially on top of the boss in order to get liquid magma to work correctly. That's what I've seen, and I've also seen it being killed because it does so much freaking damage. Which then leads us to the AoE portion. Uh, our AoE, or the Enhancement Shaman AoE, is easily the best in the game. Kit, get shit on, Chaos Bolt spamming Warlocks. Because Fire Nova spam with Flame Shock sticking and Liquid Magma is crazy balls. Nuts balls. It's fucking ludicrous how high your damage can go if you can consistently do it. And that is the thing. There are more layers now. Liquid Magma is yet another layer on top of our AoE. So not only do you have to Flame Shock a target... Then you have to Lava Lash to spread the Flame Shocks. Then you need to be using Fire Nova, which is still on a very, very short cooldown of like three seconds to AoE them. You then have to Liquid Magma on top of that. Four stages of ramped up AoE in order to get this shit going. It's too many. I would like to see Liquid Magma maybe converted into Fire Nova, replace Fire Nova, but does significantly more damage or does more damage, let's say. Something along those lines to then push us to use maybe Elemental Shaman, Elemental Fusion or Storm Elemental Totem for the single target. A Liquid Magma should be the AoE one, I think, right? That's the justification I'm getting from it. So having these a fourth layer of AoE, I'm not saying we want Mines here where it's click and AFK, but four layers of AoE... It does result in absurd damage, which could mean a nerf bat is coming, potentially. I mean, it's so heavy AoE damage once you get going. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. That's how it's looking so far. I'm 50-50 on it. It's got the pace. 
Still not a class I personally enjoy. It still feels a little bit clunky. I don't like the four level ramp up to AoE. I think it's a bit too much, especially if you're doing dungeons and stuff. It's really, uh, you can get out a couple of fine overs before things are pretty much dead. Or oh, your liquid magma has expired anyway. Or oh, the ads have killed it regardless. But in a raid, they seem to be working out alright. There is some nice ease up on this rotation or priority system. So Frost Shock is dropped so you can be doing more things like casting Lightning Bolt, which means you aren't overly spamming. But it comes in troughs and waves. Sometimes you are very spammy, sometimes you're not doing anything. Uh, that could do with cleaning up a bit for me. I don't like that ah oh, ah oh kind of aspect. My lady wouldn't be impressed with that. I'm not impressed with it. Alright guys, there's your Enhancement Shaman. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again soon. Bye.